Hi Leo, this is your reading for the full moon in Aries, which was just last night. Today we are in the 1010 portal, which is a, a, a great start. This is actually a, a wonderful number numeral in numerology. Um, it is a karmic energetic portal or window of opportunity. Um, for us to step into the next chapter in life. It is a good sign. It is good karma. Um, but we are going through a lot of changes, a lot of transformations. The full moon in Aries energy, very powerful. Aries is the energy of the individual, I am. And then the sun in Libra is all about relationships and balance. And so we're going into a whole nother cycle of who we are within our relationship dynamics and working towards more balance and change. Relationships, mostly with others, close relationships, as well as our relationship to ourself and our relationship to life in general. So Leo, I'm going to first pull from the astrology deck to see what energies are impacting you the most currently and we'll go from there all right leo we have fixed energy same as virgo <laughs> fixed energy is exactly as it seems the fixed signs are leo taurus aquarius and scorpio so um fixed signs like things to stay as they are. They're all about stability and persistence, loyalty, de um, dependability. So Leo, we're gonna get into it a little deeper for you to see what is changing and how you're affected by that. This fixed energy doesn't necessarily like change, especially abrupt change. But it's important that we all go through changes sometimes the fixed signs can actually hold the fort it with things that are in balance already um, that are working and in integrity so there are certain things that you know we don't want to change So let's see what comes through for you, Leo. I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can. I don't have a microphone, but I hope that you can hear me okay. All right, Leo. Memories of love. First card out for you. So you're probably going through, you're having nostalgia. Memories of the past. Memories that um, of things and people that you love. Times that you loved are coming up for you. Uh, reminding you of the good times in life and maybe certain feelings, emotions that you had towards events, people, things. Let's keep going. <laughs> uh -huh. Emotional loss. You're also reflecting on the fact that maybe because these are memories of the past, most likely someone or something is no longer in your life and it's a loss. It's definitely, you know, regardless of the, how it played out, it still feels like a loss to you emotionally. Maybe you haven't reconciled this fully yet for yourself. Sometimes when we don't have complete closure, it's really difficult to close a chapter, but we are at that point, that pivotal point right now, Leo, where we want to close the chapter to the past so that this portal today, 1010, opens a new door of opportunity for us and that we can step into. If we're still stuck or we're still looking at the past or not able to push beyond our past, then the windows of opportunities don't open or they may open only this much, but it's not going to let you in because you're still carrying the baggage of the past. But that makes sense. So you want to, when these memories come up, you want to work in, um, you're resolving it for yourself. So resolving this emotional loss for yourself 
everything and everyone come into our life for a very specific reason. Sometimes it is to teach us about love. Sometimes it's to teach us about who we are and who we're not. Sometimes it's a lesson and so, well, it's always a lesson, but sometimes it's a lesson that we don't necessarily like. And then other times it's a lesson that we can reflect back on later in life. Um, you know, a lot of times, especially with loss, it's, you know, it's a double-edged sword. Some people think it's greater to at least have experienced love um, and, and have lost it, but at least know that emotion, that feeling, that experience. But then, you know, others, the loss is just so great that it's not worth it to go back into, not worth it to open up the heart to experience that again, which that would be detrimental for you, Leo. Hopefully that's not where you're at at this moment. Let's keep going here. And with the fixed energy, I'm, I'm kind of picking up that it's been hard for you to let go. Universal forces are working with you though, Leo. So this is very supportive energy that is assisting you to release the past. You know, keep it in your heart and keep it in your um, understanding if it's a lesson. But it's time to move forward. It's time for new experiences, new people, new opportunities for yourself, Leo. And the heart, heart chakra comes out. So this does weigh very heavy on your heart, Leo. You want to check to make sure that your heart chakra is in balance for yourself. Our heart chakra is our integration point for all of our energy centers, all of our chakras. It's our ability to love. It's also our ability to forgive and um, compassion. So when our heart chakra is in balance, we can experience unconditional love, which is very difficult for a lot of humans to actually um, experience because we're so taught about love being, you know, I'm going to love you under these conditions, but if you do this or that, then I don't love you anymore kind of thing. That's not unconditional love. That's conditional love. But uh, when the heart chakra is in balance, we can have love for all, regardless whether they're in our lives or not. Um, compassion, joy, gratitude, acceptance, all of those things when our heart chakra is imbalanced. When it's out of balance, we have a lot of anger, jealousy, um, abandonment. We feel this bitterness and pain, fear, rejection, envy, and that conditional love that I was talking about. So... Um, in order to balance the heart chakra, work on forgiving, forgiving yourself, forgiving another, and, um, reach out to friends, talk to some people that may, um, support you through, uh, this emotional loss this time. Fresh air and nature can also help kind of bring the heart chakra back into balance. Uh, at the bottom of this deck, I'm sorry, I'm really cold. It's cold in here today, Leo. Um, the, the card at the bottom is the conflict and defeat. So this card is telling me overall, this top spread for you is about your life lessons and how sometimes we race through some things and we miss, we skip steps, we miss parts of the lessons. And so we have to, we get triggered all over again by the universal forces, uh, by another or something that comes in. It triggers us again into our pain, into our pain body and our emotions. And if we don't push it away or numb it out or distract ourselves from that pain, which this is telling me, you're finally going with, going into the pain. He's going back down, down into the depths of self. He was up here in the light, you know, yay, it's all good. And then a trigger comes and you got to go back down into the basement of the underworld of yourself. There is a candle there. There's some light shining on the part that you missed, a skip step. So it's really not that you're not defeated, Leo. It's just that you cannot move forward until you go back and, and work on healing this 
emotional loss for yourself. That's when the, um, the door will open wide for you. Below that is the base chakra and disruption. So whatever happened here, it really brought you to a place of uh, not feeling grounded in your life, in yourself. And um, with disruption below that, it's telling me that it was a pretty big cataclysmic event that affected you, Leo. Um, our base or root chakra, which is located right at the tailbone area, is our foundation. It's our connection to the earth. It's, um, it connects us to our basic human instincts. And um, it's, it's for our safety, our security, our survival here on the planet. When it, the root chakra, uh, we are born, that's the first chakra that starts to come online. When it's in balance, we are grounded. We feel stable within ourselves. We feel um, instinctual and um, we feel supported by our family, our community, our tribe. And we feel like there is a solid foundation within the dynamics of our life. But when it is out of balance, which a lot of people experience this and they're not even realizing that their energy centers are out of balance, it affects our emotions, it affects our physical body, um, you feel fatigue, you feel that foggy brain, like just tired, I don't know what's going on. Um, a lot of insecurity. This is when addictions become very strong. You may have senses of like greed and instability, lack of um, lack of a sense of identity even. Um, so to balance that, balancing the root chakra is um, probably one of the easiest ways to do it is to Go out into nature and depending on the temperatures of where you're at, take your shoes off and walk around in the grass or on the beach or in the ground, earthing. Hug a tree, connect with animals, nature. That really helps to connect you back to your roots, to your root chakra. Let's keep going here, Leo. A little lesson on our energy centers here, <laughs> which really do affect us in big, big ways that most people are not taught or understand fully. All right, Leo, we're going with the Mythic Tarot for you. For Leo. This moon, this full moon, also in a conjunction, so it's right next to or right along with the asteroid. Chiron, the wounded healer. This is the energy that um, will highlight or trigger our deepest, darkest childhood wounds. This is maybe something that you are going back to retrieve and heal, Leo. Um, we get triggered by another, by a situation, and it brings up emotions, maybe even memories um, that are... Our soul, our body even, is asking us, please revisit this, take a look at this again, but sit with it and, and allow the universe to even assist you into seeing this situation in a new perspective for yourself, to heal and grow and mature and evolve so that you can move forward in life. A lot of times when we are struck with deep pain, I mean, we have to honor the healing journey. We have to honor the process of grief as well. And everybody individually processes grief in their own unique way. But there are the five stages of grief, which is anger and denial. Oh uh, gosh, I can't remember them all, but you eventually get to acceptance. And that's what this is really trying to teach you and assist you into getting to the point of acceptance and being able to move forward. Okay, Leo, let's keep going. What about memories of love? For Leo, this is for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Leo. I may have forgotten to say that one. All right.
I'm getting a very strong sense here, Leo. With the memories of love coming back up, you also are starting to get a stronger sense of your own inner power of co-creation. Um, it's, it's bringing you to a point, Ace of Wands, it's the very beginning stages of making great change in your life. And, th and this guy's holding the world in his hands and his other staff is on fire. He's like, yeah, I am totally ready for something different. There's billions and billions of opportunities in this world. I don't want to keep staying stuck in just one story that's in my mind. So this is a beautiful thing. These memories are jolting your heart chakra back into balance. And it's really assisting you into taking the first steps into moving past, moving beyond what you had been really stuck in, what was causing you a lot of sorrow and pain. It's causing your heart to hurt. He's holding his heart. A lot of times these bigger challenges will bring us to our knees. They can be very shocking. That's your honest energy. Unexpected. The moon. So the reason why you're still stuck or the reason why you're still experiencing this, this sadness, this pain, this sadness is because... You haven't gone deeper quite yet, Leo, deep enough to find the emotional wound that is still in the subconscious. This is your blind spot. These are parts of you that you, your conscious mind wouldn't even think of. So you really have to sit in the emotion and allow what comes up, memories and feelings and sensations, allow that to come up. And then ask yourself, Leo, when was the first time I felt this? And sit with that. Don't let the mind take you there. Let the emotion and the sensations take you there. It will take you back to childhood. Somewhere in your childhood, you experienced the same sensation of loss and pain that is linked to this experience that you're still trying to move beyond. And do that with a lot of love and compassion for yourself because these these um this work that we do on ourselves is very emotional it is very difficult at times and if you need support to go through that or therapy that's also very helpful but um you can do this on your own as well and eventually i will be teaching some of this to others as well as to how to really reach into the depths of yourself without the assistance of somebody else because we do all hold the answers that we seek inside, they just get stuck. They get stuck in the subconscious mind. So sometimes somatic therapy can help. That actually will dig really deeply into the subconscious mind um, for you. Uh, hypnosis also. But you can do this on your own. I mean, it's possible. But if you need assistance, there is help out there. And I will be also offering some of that help as well in the very near future. So the universe is really helping too. And it's helping to bring justice and balance into your life again. So that, you know, not everything is always, you know, rosy and beautiful and, and great. Some things are hard and challenging and painful and dark, but to live in between the dark and the light, I'm noticing the black and white tiles that he's sitting on there. So to, to be able to consciously and happily live in between the duality of life, the good sides and the not so good sides, and just kind of swimming right in between, knowing that there is light and dark, always, there always will be. That is part of this experience that we have here in earth school. <laughs> uh, all right. Heart chakra. Um, so as the heart chakra begins to rebalance itself, really work on forgiving yourself and forgiving others and just letting it go, moving forward. Because the wheel of fortune, this is the wheel of karma. We are turning into a whole new opening for the next chapter in life. 
So continue to work on keeping your heart open. I know sometimes it's difficult when we're, when we've been hurt in the past, we tend to guard our hearts, myself included. And it's sometimes it is unconscious. We're not even fully aware that we kind of, you know, shut, uh, push back a little bit from life and experiences. But this is all about balance within your relationships, Leo. The equal give and take. That's what, um, that's what you desire. That's what everybody desires here. Uh, so let's get um, some advice for you from Moonology on this situation. It doesn't look like the, this is really the only thing that I'm picking up for you, Leo, that you really want to focus on and pay attention to through this moon cycle uh, and look for the opportunities that are opening up towards you because the universe and justice is telling me that it's right there. You've already manifested it. It may not have appeared in your life fully. You may have some signs. You may have a little sneak peeks of what's to come. And that's a beautiful thing to kind of get you excited about it. But if you're still cl clinging on to the emotional loss, then you're not even really, it's not in your radar. You're not paying attention to what the universe is like. Hey, listen, <laughs> once you get past this stuff, here's what we have for you. This is what you've been asking for. It's right here. But we're not going to open the door to this for you to fully see it until this is taken care of. And you can't fool the universe. It's all reading from our subconscious. We think the universe is, you know, the sayings of like, you create your own reality. Well, yes, and, and yeah, but not the way you, we think with our conscious mind. It's all based off of our energy and our energetic body, which is linked to the subconscious. All of the things that we've experienced from childhood on up that we've not processed that has been unsupported um to heal from emotional no no emotional support no support in healing through things and we humans need to um continue going so we have coping mechanisms to breeze past the pain eventually and uh but it's still there if you haven't processed it fully and healed from it fully it's still there and we we all hold so much crap <laughs> in our subconscious. It comes up to show us, but if you're not conscious to this journey and the energetic game that we're in, then you're just going to continue to play in old patterns. All right, Leo, advice for you. And being a fixed sign, it is harder to shift out of the old mentality, but you're doing it. You're doing it. Don't be stubborn about it. Let yourself have new experiences in life. Let life show you what's possible for you. And don't guard the heart. There was a very specific reason that whatever this is that happened for you was meant to teach you something. And you can't make it up. Leo, a new start is coming. New moon. I'm going to read this from the book for you. Ah, I had the chills. These readings have been so, you can't, like, amazing this week. I don't know if it's the energy or what. <laughs> Let me find this here, sorry. Oh my, Leo, here we go. <laughs> These are a little more difficult to locate in the book, but here we go. A new start is coming. There is a yes coming your way. This is one of the most auspicious cards in the deck. It's totally positive and suggests something new and exciting is developing. The situation you're asking about is blessed and you're on target to achieve your goals. 
The message from the universe is that you're starting all over again in some way. Be that on a new or better course or just feeling more positive about achieving your desired outcome. If you've been feeling stagnant, this card reminds you that life goes in cycles and you're moving into a new cycle now. This is the time to wipe the slate clean. If the situation you asked about has become toxic, either that will clear up now or something totally new and fresh is on its way. I mean, that just sums up this entire reading here, Leo. So that is your message. If you like this video, please click the like button. <laughs> I hate saying all this stuff, but we have to do that on YouTube, right? <laughs> click the like button if you like the video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. This really does truly help all content creators um, grow and expand within what we're doing, as well as getting the messages out to more and more people who need to hear them. So that is a, uh, a great way, a great energetic exchange that you can do for me and the collective. All right, Leo, that is your message. Take care. Bye.